Okay, this is Diane here from the Design Creative and you might have to excuse me a little bit because I have been drinking just a tiny bit. I may slur, I may forget certain things but I know what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to show you how to build a WordPress theme using Headway and Fireworks and this is lesson five. We're going to be editing the menu in this lesson. We've already sliced out, we've already done our settings in WordPress, we've already set up part of the first word, uh, page. So now we're just going to deal with the uh, the menus. I'm going to get rid of this white border that comes on every single Headway installation. <laughs> they need to take it off. I think we should get a show of votes of they should take that off because it shouldn't really be left as a default but they got it there as default. I'm going to change the font of this now. Uh, Century Gothic I think would be a great font to use. Uh, quite roundy and I'm going to change the colour of this font as well. I'm going to go for a, a white. Uh, I think as well it needs to stand out a bit more than what it is so I might have to change the styling of it to a bold see what that looks like yeah that's super cool okay so let's save it and go I'm gonna have a look at it at the other screen now you may think to yourself well why are you gonna have a look at it on the other screen when you can see the same thing in headway well sometimes I just need to just see the screen um, and not have all this extra bit on the bottom or on the side that's gonna distract me so uh, I'm going to change the hover um, instance now for this particular nav. I'm going to change it to that obnoxious red, but I need to find out what colour it is. So I'm going to go back to my mock up and press the I um, <coughs> key on my keypad to get the ink job at all and find out what red we have here. And I'm going to copy and paste the code really quickly and put that in make sure I've selected the right instance of course put that in here and there we have that red I could just hover over it, you can see that red appearing ok if I look at it in the main screen yep everything's working it's not really a great red to use on this blue I must admit <laughs> I must admit it's not a great red at all um, right so I'm now going to change the um, active state on here to a black so then when somebody clicks on a page that particular page on the menu bar will turn black instead of the the whites and they'll be able to distinguish where they are see we've got the hover effect we've got the white and we've got the black so um, now if we go into the menu setting we're now going to set our menu so I'm going to call this main menu <coughs> and I'm going to add my pages to it you can get to this via appearances and then menus now when you're adding your menus to the menu bar you can add them one by one or you can add them in bulk. I prefer sometimes to add them in bulk. Uh, sorry, I prefer sometimes to add them one by one because then I don't have to be moving them around. I can just add them in the order that I want to see them in. Uh, but you can move them obviously from here and set your sub um, your sub menu items here as well. If you can see here on the top left where it says theme locations, I've now selected my nav to be the main menu and if of course you can't see these options you can go to the options layer here and select whether you want to see pages or posts or categories and uh, that's if you can't see it or you want to get rid of some some, some space um, so yeah that is the end of this tutorial the next tutorial will, will be about learning how to use a slider and I hope you like, as you can see here, my uh, menus are all <coughs> in the right order. Um, they're roughly in the right colours. And now we're going to head off to the slider. See you on the other side. Bye.